Yeah, we're good. Uh, we're back. Welcome back to the podcast. Today, we have a very special guest, Carolina Ravasa. She is the voice of Rays and Valorant and Sombra in Overwatch. I'm super excited to talk to her. Uh, how are you doing today, first off? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Sombra Online. <laughs> I, I love it. I, I didn't realize there's a wide variety of uh, cast members when it comes to the uh, voices of Valorant agents. Um, and I didn't realize that you did, because I've, I've played Overwatch before, and I didn't realize, I never really got into the voice actors, but once Valorant came out and I started watching all your stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, like, she's super talented and this is, <laughs> this is awesome. How did, so did you, was Overwatch your first uh, voice acting job? Um, it was the first character in a video game that uh, was really big. Mm -hmm. I had worked with Rockstar Games for GTA Five yes. and Max Payne Three, and was in the works of Red Dead Two. But you know, it, the, Sombra is the biggest character that, mm -hmm. that had come out, so it, it kind of counts as like the first video game in terms of like you know having being able to travel to Comic Cons and meet the gamers. The first. Yeah. Um, when it comes to like actually being immersed in the video game culture be behind the game that you're in, um, is it is it a lot easier when it's something like a character that has a backstory and like you can actually get into it other than like just saying lines for like maybe GTA or something like that? Yeah, I think definitely it's it's super helpful when we have more information about the character that just helps us understand oh she's not just this uh badass um jaded woman it's that something happened in her past that was very hurtful and therefore she has had to protect herself by being this way so i think that sometimes we just think that like you know chicks in video games are like tough and whatever mm -hmm. but it's usually because there's a whole backstory to that so i think those are really interesting to learn and find out about Although a lot of the times we're not told anything, so we just have to kind of make stuff up and understand that they're interesting three-dimensional characters. And Taliana Martinez in, in GTA Five, I know nothing about, but I just know that you know you can hire her for to drive, and and she'll she'll get the job done for cheap. Um, but I'm sure she has an interesting life, you know. So we just have to kind of go in knowing that they're human, <laughs> mm -hmm. and they're not just you know angry at life. Yeah, when it when it comes to like getting into that character to be able to deliver like maybe like a passionate project um when d like so they give you at least for let's like valorant did they they gave you maybe like a bio about where she was from and then how much is that is up to your interpretation of what she would sound like or what she would be like you yeah know? i mean i think that's what the whole audition process is about right mm -hmm. we get a, a little bio and maybe a picture sometimes we don't get a picture I, I got a picture of Ray's. i did not get a picture of sombra um so we kind of sometimes just have to make something up in our mm -hmm. head about what they might look like and um i think that we just have to sometimes it's a gut feeling like you're like oh cool uh i know Ray's is like energetic and uh she loves explosives and you know like three or five basic things so I kind of just that was what my audition was it was very loud and bombastic and like here comes that party like immediately it was just going there because she that's kind of how they described her whereas mm -hmm. Sombra was more like Jessica Jones and she was sarcastic and you know cool and so you just have to they all have a little bit of us inside of them I think mm -hmm. you know and maybe our heritage if, if that applies but also uh, what we bring to the table is what they're going to end up wanting or not wanting right so sometimes we just have to kind of take a risk and, and do something and see if they like it you know um but a, a version of us that's gonna make sense so sometimes while you know once we book it or, or at a callback they'll be like so your read was awesome but we just need to like you know tone down the she's not so loud even though she's energetic or even though she's jaded she still has a really great sense of humor so don't just make her like one note so mm -hmm. i think sometimes they help us tweak it but we definitely have to show up with this idea of what they are you know mm -hmm. yeah because I, I just love hearing like what the the voice actor is like interpreting and being able to bring their own twist on something because like sometimes in 
I'm not sure for like, you know, the director or whoever's like pushing it in a certain direction, but maybe they don't know exactly what they're looking for until they find it, you know? So totally. That's totally. And so that, that's why, you know, we talk with so many voice actors and people who are pursuing it. Like don't try and figure out what they want. Mm -hmm. Give them something that comes not naturally to you, but something that you find interesting, that's enticing rather than, Oh, well, I think they want a sassy Latina like this, so I'm going to try this instead of like, well, what's my sassy Latina? Yeah. That's what's going to, you know, pique their interest. So that's definitely a way to keep things fresh and, and authentic and very much unique to, to the voice actor, you know? Mm -hmm. So when it when it comes to Ray's, uh, your interpretation of like how, how much – did did you have a lot of influence and do you do you relate to the character at all cuz i i feel quite a bit that a lot of voice actors in Valorant kind of you know relate yeah. with their character a little bit yeah i mean i think that i love i i lived in brazil for a while and i what i love about the culture is that it's really connected to music and they love good food and they love dancing and and the beach and capoeira and all these <laughs> brazilian things and so i felt like and they're very, I, I felt like a lot of the people I met, they're very warm and, and huggy and like, you know, they're physical in, in the way that like uh, Latinos are, that we love to hug people and just like, you know, like if I'm talking, I might slap you on the shoulder to connect, but but it's it's just this cultural thing, right? And mm -hmm. so I think that I connected to that. And what was cool was while we were recording uh, the first session, there was a lot of lines that I was saying. And then, you know, the writers started kind of having trouble connecting the energy with the words and so I thought I was doing something wrong and I remember we ended that session just a little bit early but then the next session we came in they were so sweet uh, uh, the writer Zach said you know we we realized halfway through your recording that everything was starting to sound stale and I was like oh my god I didn't do my job right and they're like no we realized we had to write different lines that made sense with the energy and the love that you were bringing to her so Basically, what he said was that he wanted to rewrite lines because I was giving them so much like uh, enthusiasm that it was like we need to we need to write better lines. Uh, he said it. I, I would never say that. I thought his lines were great, but you know he realized that we were making Ray's not just this again. All women in video games are badass, but what's interesting about uh, the specific, the more specific we get is that she is very community oriented and she loves building family that's what she says she's like surrounded by my family and she wants to carry the team and she wants to build morale she's not just like all right let's go everybody for themselves it's more like hey i got you and i got you and we're all in this together and so i love that she was maternal without being the mom of the group <laughs> she was just this like cool chick who's like yeah i'm gonna take care of you because i love you guys but i'm also not a mom you know it's just she loves taking care of her people so and I, I feel I feel very much like that and so I, I definitely brought a lot of me to it this is a really long answer but it's no I love it I love question. it uh, another thing that we talked about was you know Ray's has a lot of feminine traits that can be like maternal or or um, you know let me help you up if you're hurt um, that can be considered very feminine uh, but then she's also you know a bit of a tomboy and she also has these very, very masculine like uh, physical qualities and as we were breaking that down I was like wow I kind of have felt that my whole life that I obviously am a chick and I identify as she but I also love you know sometimes dressing like a tomboy or very ma wearing masculine shirts or what's considered masculine in today's society um, so I loved finding the balance between both she's not just this girly girl who like wears lipstick although she does her nails and they're yellow and they're cool like it's just this kind of middle ground where you know you can be both and I think that beautiful characters are also you know male characters that can have feminine traits in mm -hmm. video games and so you kind of connect to complex people and not just I'm a dude I'm in a video game so I'm gonna be you know this like tough guy it's like maybe they have a soft side because we all do right yeah. we all do as humans so that was like one of the most special experiences I've had with the writer and director um and yeah yeah I just the whole I love I love the representation in Valorant there's you know characters from all different corners of the globe and it's just the fact to bring people in and like let them 
you know, if they've had that experience, like, you, you know, living in that place and being able to put their own twist on things and stuff like that, it's so great just to see the absolute masterpiece that took, you know, from the writers and the directors and then the voice actors putting their spin on it, like, is actually just an incredible piece of art in its own way. And it's great. I mean, I think that they more and more uh, video game companies realize that people want really interesting characters that aren't mm -hmm. just one note. And so the whole team has to play a really important part. You know, the people who are designing everything to the people who are writing for them to the director who's making our, our voice shine as, as best it can for that character. And so I really think it's, it's a team effort. And uh, the, the team at Riot has been great. And it's been so, so wonderful to work with them. I, I love every time I get to go back in the booth. Mm -hmm. uh, also, um, you do something for your stream where you talk to people. I know. Have you had all the... Uh, voice actors on or all of them no <laughs> uh almost i still i'm missing viper i'm missing um killjoy and uh the new one ko ko i always want to say a-o-k -K, ko uh but K i'm gonna have ko on soon mm. gabe has is has said yes um, Viper's just, you know, Ashley is really busy because she also writes for another show. I don't know if you've watched Mythic Quest, but it's awesome. <laughs> and uh, and I think some people like Killjoy's voice character, voice actor, you know, they, they maybe aren't ready to, to go on social media and, and do so many mm -hmm. things. So I respect that, you know, and, and if they don't want to, that's, that's also fine. Uh, yeah, I, I've realized that there's some people who, like, there's, like, kind of two reactions when it comes to it. People who, like right now Miranda is diving into it she's going full yeah. force and I love yeah. it I love it she's on TikTok and stuff like that and I, I love that but there's also the people who are like like I respect this but I also like don't really understand it and I'm just gonna you know do my other work as well I think what people forget is that as as voice actors we're also actors mm -hmm. who audition yeah and work in a bunch of other mediums yes you know film and TV, or a lot of animation. So even though doing voices for video games is really fun, mm. we're focused on, you know, I might have two sessions for an animation tomorrow, so I'm not, like, thinking of, like, how to play Valorant better. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because I, uh, I, I have other things that I love to do and that take a lot of time. And so gaming, I feel, is really time-consuming, and you have to really enjoy it to, to get into it. And part of my life is I'm trying to get away from screens because we spend too much too much time in front of them yes um, but I, I I really think that you know once we understand the world of gaming it can be really lovely and and fans and gamers can be super sweet when there's no like crazy internet trolling or hate but um, it's just like sometimes we're focused on other other jobs that yeah. keep us busy you know mm -hmm. which is you know it's it might not be everyone's end goal to to just you know do Valorant a lot of people want to achieve what they've set out to do for the past how many years they've been doing it, you know? Yeah. And, you know, we're still, even though I love Valorant and it's like a, a thing, like I started Twitch because of Valorant. I was doing interviews with the voice actors um, and I've, t I've tried to imitate all of their voices on TikTok as well, most <laughs> of them, especially all the female ones, uh, just because I thought it was fun. But, uh, you know, I'm constantly auditioning for other video games as well or working on them or, or, new lines for valorant or whatever so mm -hmm. there's always stuff that's happening um that's really fun you know yes exactly um i do i have uh my favorite voice line of rays i'm gonna pull it up really quick so i get it correctly um that personally every time that Ray says it i feel like we have we have to win and we have like all my friends, we we are on agreement that every time Ray says, uh, "I'm surrounded by Mia Familia," we won't lose. Every time she says that, we uh, we just we lock in, and that's what we we do. We win the game. So if if I could get that for myself, if you could say that, I would really appreciate it. Well, and I love that you say that because that's exactly the point. Yes. It's like trying to bring everyone together mm -hmm. and build morale when everyone's like, "Oh my God, we're losing." Yeah. Um, it goes, oh, surrounded by Mina Familia. We won't lose. <laughs> I, 
I love that. I it's <laughs> it's so crazy every time I've spoken to, like, the, you're my third voice actor I've spoken to, and when they say the lines, I'm like, that's exactly what I hear. It's exactly what I hear, and it never gets old. Sometimes we don't do them exactly as they're in game because we forget we take <laughs> yeah. the shows, and you guys listen to them way more than I recorded <laughs> them. But I try. I remember I was saying, uh, uh, "Here comes the party." Wrong. I kept saying, <laughs> "Here comes the party," and she goes, "Here comes the party." <laughs> But I recorded all of those. You know, yeah. So I forgot which one was chosen. Yeah, I mean. And then the other one I love is Les Mix is gay. Yeah, that one's good. Race has some top tier voice lines in there. Um. But I I just love. I love how, she like there's so much like quirky or like just like good voice lines that are just. Like she says, like brim brimstone Zeno or something like that. I love that voice line. Yeah. Um, well, he's uh, because in in Portuguese and in Spanish we use uh, the ito or iño to kind of express oh a little brimstone or you know like mm-hmm. uh, I guess in 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 Spanish it would be Owencito or Owenzinho. Uh, <laughs> so so I remember when we were recording and. You know, Brimstone's a serious guy. Yeah. But Raze is the type of character that'll just be like, hey, dude, what's up? You want to grab a beer? And he'll be like, I don't drink beer. And then she'll be like, okay, whatever. But then he might join because he kind of is like, what's the deal with this chick? So I felt like I wanted to throw in like a funny little way to kind of try and make him crack a smile. So I suggested the Brimstone Zinu. Um, <laughs> remind me the line. I have them written down uh, somewhere. And I'm- I always... Them. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. Um, there's like just you know a page of voice lines, so I'm yeah. trying to. There's a gazillion. I mean, yeah. I, I, yeah. Um, and then the one where she goes oops, 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 something about the music for Sova. Um, oh gosh, I you know I should have prepared and had them ready to go, but I don't. Uh, ha! No, I. I this probably. Them. Yeah, I know that's what I'm trying to do, but I can't. Um, there's just so many, like, I don't think people realize how many different variations of just even like the word yes or no that there is. Like there's, there's so many situations where they're just different, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, um, let me see. Oh, I'll bring some Zeno. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, and also like I tell, uh, could you, this is terrible. Who has the arm that's, uh, um, like a bionic arm or something. A bionic. One of the characters, and I tell him like, "Ah, looking good, dude." Because uh, it, even it's it's not me flirting, but it's me like telling them that they look cute, <laughs> you know. Uh, why does Ray say after saying Brimstone's name? People are, aren't understanding the the um, Brimstone Zinio. They're like, "What?" They because they don't know that in in you know portuguese you can add a little you mm-hmm. know to make it like hey little brimstone what's going on there's there's also um, this one that says just just me my squad Zinho, and a yeah. few tons of dynamite there's nothing yeah. we can't do just me my squad Zinho, and a few tons of dynamite there's nothing we can't do <laughs> oh my yeah man oh th- so I did, i'm good. so angry at myself hold on maybe you can well you can totally let this go uh or, or cut this section out where we're looking for lines desperately because <laughs> um, <laughs> i have a bunch of papers on my desk and i know i have my lines here because every time i do uh live streams everyone's like oh my god can you say a line and i'm like sure i got them written down because i i still haven't been to enough conventions where i've just said them a million times over mm-hmm. you know uh yeah i don't know well, I'm, 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 I feel like I'm on the cusp of finding it. Wait, no, this isn't it. Dude, I need to organize my desk. That's what <laughs> needs to happen. Um, oh, ah, colorful kill. Okay, uh, this is what she says. Mr. Zio, you sure I can't listen to music? You're really bringing me down here, man. <laughs> um, and then... Jet, my sister from another mister. Let's have some fun, yeah? <laughs> oh. And revive me, Jet! <laughs> <laughs> Time for the fireworks. Like, she 
he says nice job everyone you know what i mean like mm -hmm. he's just like so in tune with people and and get you know getting everyone like pumped yes i pumped <laughs> um uh it's so good it's just so who do you mean that's the question well the that's that is a good question i have uh been playing i played quite a bit of sky that's why that's why i wanted to reach out to miranda first um but recently i've been playing a lot of sage just being that for my team my best friend actually uh is a Rays main so he, i i play with Rays quite a bit and he was super excited for this one by the way awesome what's his name techie hello techie <laughs> wait let me let me uh time for the fireworks techie good luck <laughs> oh. uh the power you just held in your hand right there you just ma you made his day you made his Yay! day he... No, I, I get excited when I when those things like again because I'm not a gamer I don't understand that like in game there's this thing that happens and you're about to lose but then you win and then you know or the ultimate oh, like, yeah. I know that there's like a physiological response to what's happening in game and I feel like I mean I I'm a huge fan of Disney movies and mm -hmm. uh, like Looney Tunes as a kid growing up and stuff like that so when I hear voice actors that do those voices mm -hmm. do them I go wow that's uncanny. But I know it's different than when there's like adrenaline going and, you know, it's like it's like in game and you're feeling something It's very different to just watching a movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. There's just like it's a lot of like because obviously we get like happy or like, you know, if if something goes wrong, we get sad in this game and like it it doesn't change my mood for the whole day. But in that moment, like when I'm happy and then I hear like rays in my ear or something like that, like there's just, it's a good feeling to like, yeah. to know that they're there, you know, and saying yeah. stuff and you hear your favorite voice line or something like that. Like there's just so many that like someone will say something and then like, we're just like, I love that voice line. Like every time, you know, or yeah. there's just, there's some that, you know, you don't like that you hear and you're just like, what is that? And then, but it's just well, there's it's funny. I, I, yeah. I think like with with uh, Sombra and Ray's because they say stuff in other languages or mm -hmm. they'll say something with like a spin of their language. And then people are like, what does she say? I, I don't know what she says there, but I love that line. Yeah. You know? Like Sombra says, um, ¿Qué onda? and that means what's up? <laughs> but people don't know what it says. They're just like, I love what she says. Yonda. And I'm like, she doesn't say Yonda. She says, ¿Qué onda? but she says it really fast. And it's like, what's up? What's cool? Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I love that, you know, people have learned a little Spanish or a little Portuguese because of these characters. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it just makes me happy that also sometimes they're like, oh, my God, when I hear that voice line, I know I'm about to die. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's funny, too, you know? Well, yeah, there's like there's one a voice line that uh, Raina does for literal months. We I was I asked everyone, I'm like, what does she say? But yeah. she, but it's not that it's in a different language. It's just like, it's got that like, uh, twist on it. You know, like the, yeah. what just is the, the line? it's uh, look your enemy in the eye. It helps with accuracy. But she says like she says it like accuracy. Look your enemy in the eye. It helps with accuracy. Yeah, that's it. And I was like, what? I wonder what if is they kept that? It on purpose, like sometimes because in in we 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 do put the accent on the wrong syllable in another language. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it like works, and so I'm sure they were like, "Oh, that's kind of cool. Let it be," you know. Uh huh. Um, and sometimes they correct us, and they're like, "Yeah, no, that's not how it's said in English. Let's correct it." <laughs> um, she's fun. She's really fun and super sweet, and uh, her character was really interestingly developed, kind mm -hmm. of like a like an old school soap opera in Spanish, mm -hmm. and. So she's all very sultry, but like super evil. Um, yeah. And funny. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, th there's also uh, Astra says lines that like, like I understand what she's saying, but at the same time, I have no idea what it means. Like there's, there's, yeah. she says like, uh, like I should call you Chale or something like that. 
And I'm like, I, I don't really know what it means, but like, I love the voice line, you know? Yo, you need to watch my Twitch interview with her. I had her on a couple months ago, mm -hmm. and she broke those down. Oh, her yeah. sound engineer also, yeah, they're very, very, very typically, uh, like, they're, they're just slang terms that mm -hmm. uh, obviously we don't know in America, but um, they use them in Ghana. And because Ghana was, uh, had, you know, was conquered by the Brits. Uh, there was a lot of people walking around saying, hey, Charlie. Apparently, there were a lot of people named Charlie. So they're like, Charlie, come here, Charlie. So then they started going, hey, Charlie, what's going on, Charlie? So Charlie is literally like Charlie, but they weren't sure what it was. So it became part. It's kind of like how we say, yo, dude, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So she explained that to me because I love it as well, the yeah. Charlie. But that's literally a take on Charlie in their own accent and in their way. And so that now it's just become like, like saying, yeah. Like in Spanish, we'll say gay or dude or parce in Colombian. There's just like little inserts that we use. And I find that stuff super interesting language wise. You know, mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot more of them that she uses that I find so interesting. How does that feel to be able to to represent a character like that? I know there's like so many like Astra or, you know, Reina, just different yeah. you know whether it's like culture backgrounds or whatever how does that actually feel to be be that for like rays and you know that part yeah, of the world I, mean, I, I think that i i haven't yet gotten to travel as rays i feel like i've traveled the world with sombra mm -hmm. and i've gotten people from all over the literally all over the world feel um really well represented as yeah. a latino or somebody who has latino parent or maybe they lived in a, a, a spanish-speaking country for a while and then now they don't and so they're just like oh my gosh like they it's it's just really it's really beautiful to have people connect so much to a character that we voice because mm -hmm. i didn't invent sombra you know i yeah. didn't make them up but to know that they have connected so much to this character because they're a great character not because they're like this like effed up you know illegal uh person selling drugs or whatever because that's usually kind of how a lot of uh, these characters are portrayed uh it's kind of for for i mean for valorant and overwatch i'm just i feel so proud to play these characters and of course i'm not like the representation yeah uh, people are like how does it feel to represent mexico and i'm <laughs> like well I, I i hope i'm not representing all of mexico <laughs> because i'm just one character and one person but uh it's definitely special you know because i think that we're moving into a place where video games are just representing all all ethnicities and um and nationalities and and sexuality and i, I just think that's really cool mm -hmm. it's really cool to watch and i i'm glad that they have like really good people doing it too that's like yeah. doing it well and like it's there's it's a really cute there's a really cute short that they did for uh rays and the, the mm -hmm. riot team in brazil made it um so it's it's mostly in portuguese but i think you can watch it with subtitles and it's pretty short yeah. and if you don't understand you can still enjoy it you know but it's very specific to like cultural aspects down there and and you kind of are like ooh, is that killjoy in the window do, do they have a thing like there's all these little nuggets that they plant that are really neat and uh i think that because they have offices in all parts of the world they can you know get very specific mm -hmm. with things and and i don't know where you're based in what state but you can learn from all these other countries without having to leave your home mm -hmm. and i think that that's a really cool window into the world you know yeah i did see i did see the the rays um little short and it was obviously i didn't really understand it but i still got like chills from it because like it was just showing it kind of like put on display on how big something like that is all around the world you know and yeah. it's really cool that it's it's kind of how i think of like laughing like laughing is like a universal like you in every language it's the same and so like when i like i can relate to someone about you know something like that and when they're when someone's interested in the same thing you're interested in we all share this love for this game and it's everywhere and it's yeah. it's beautiful yeah you know sometimes when i see people with overwatch gear mm -hmm. at the airport or i was at a park the other day in san diego because doing some stuff down there and uh i see this guy and he's got an overwatch hat not backpack hat uh, and I was like, nice hat. And he's like, oh, cool. And I'm like, who do you mean? And he's like, oh, soldier, but I haven't played in a while. And I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> um, 
because I just feel like there's already a connection that we wouldn't mm -hmm. otherwise have, yeah. or I wouldn't have reached out to this guy. He had a, a you know, like a three-year-old kid. Um, so it's just kind of neat when you do see little things like that. Uh, like on the street once, it was I was hanging out with Farah, uh, Mercy, and Symmetra, and we were having you know lunch, and then this guy walks by like covered in overwatch gear and we're like hey we like your clothes he's like yeah yeah whatever but we laughed because we're like you know we're sitting there <laughs> and he's i don't know it's just like those things i think they're cool otherwise we wouldn't know he's an overwatch player you mm -hmm. know but he was like covered in gear so um those things are neat yeah that's like an instinct i mean not necessarily a connection but you you relate and you you're yeah. able to it's it's cool you know and it's a very specific thing. I think in mm -hmm. New York, you know, a lot of people wear Yankees hats or, yeah. you know, Boston. Ugh. Everyone wears Boston Red Sox hats. Like, that's a thing. They're like, okay, we all, we all connected on this. But, like, Overwatch is very specific. Uh, mm -hmm. Even though there are 50 million players all over the world, you yes. don't always know who plays Overwatch in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. who plays it in Australia. But if they're wearing a hat, you're like, yo, what's up? You know, mm -hmm. that's kind of cool. Yeah. I, I didn't realize, like, how, how big like everything was with overwatch because i played it a long time ago like when the first when the game first was released and then this and then this interview was gonna happen and i was like obviously telling people and they saw it and i was like i told my roommate who he doesn't play valorant but he's a big overwatch guy and so like this is still cool like sombra's coming on my podcast like things like that and like yeah yeah and then my brothers i was like yeah like overwatch and valorant and they're like oh my gosh like that's cool that's so cool and i'm like yeah this is this is big this is awesome so I, i'm glad what that you want to start this podcast um first it was the uh i just wanted to talk to influencers like who create content and i wanted to uh, who primarily created content on TikTok. That's what my first idea was because a lot of people post who are mainly TikTokers, they'll post 60 seconds of their life at most. But yeah. uh, And if they got big on TikTok and they didn't have previous stuff, then there's nothing about them. They don't get to talk about themselves. A lot of people, um, you'd be able to learn about how they deal with things how their thought process was but they're not going to make a whole tiktok about it so yep. that's kind of why i wanted to do it i'll be like i love talking to people i think like it's a great and i love podcasts so that's yeah. kind of why yeah. i did it but then well, and what's do, what uh, what is it that you'd like to do career-wise uh this uh just i'm i've been doing content creation for the past nine years since I, I'm, I'm 18 right now. So I've been doing it for a long time. Obviously like my first stuff wasn't like, I'm going to sit down and make like a good video, but I've been posting to YouTube since I was like nine. And, wow. uh, then, you know, I'm, I live, I don't live with my parents anymore. I, I live with my brother and I just create content every day. And I, I love it. I just, I still have the same burning passion to to do this every single day i that's amazing yeah Super cool. um are you uh you gotta what i don't know how much time we've done pretty much i think we we've can, done we could, we could go another little while i'm good i just have to go get my car fixed uh, <laughs> <an> appointment. <laughs> fun, stuff. Um, you gotta do it you yeah, know let's, let's give it seven minutes or something okay <laughs> we'll get some we'll get some uh voice lines in here if that's okay with you yeah okay um uh, I don't know if you have any that you haven't said that you want want to do or would do, but I'm I'm just kind of scrolling through, uh, trying to find some good some good lines here. Um, yeah. Go go ahead um, if you're gonna say something. Oh yeah, Jet! I can't wait for you to run circles around him. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> um, time for the fireworks. What about uh, another raise? Ha, I bet she's fun. I mean, I'll still kill her, obviously. I totally don't remember how I recorded that, but I kind of feel her, so. Yeah. Another raise? Ha! I'll kill her? What? <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you need more? Yeah, can you, yeah. Can you just uh, read it again? Yeah. I totally forgot no, it. you're, oh, you're so good. Uh, another raise? Ha, I bet she's fun. I mean, I'll still kill her, obviously. Another race? Ha! I bet 
she's fun. I mean, I'll still kill her, obviously. <laughs> I love, I love the, uh, uh, when the voice actor, like you said, like we, we recorded it so long ago. So like, we don't know exactly how we recorded it. I I've seen it so many times where like I'm talking to Miranda or Aaron and yeah. then they're like, yeah, can you say it one more time? I don't remember it. And I'm like, yeah, you guys recorded it. Like probably like a year or a year and a half Over ago. A year ago, definitely a year and a half ago. And we were sometimes we record, we record them, you know, more than 10 times. So we're mm -hmm. like, I don't know which version they chose. <laughs> yeah. But because the character lives in us, we kind of know, Oh, she's got that spin. Like mm -hmm. I need to blow something up. <laughs> <laughs> she's so funny have you actually have you got the chance to play valorant yet i That's... haven't i don't have like a computer system mm -hmm. that can handle that yeah so i played valorant a couple times but it's always on other people's uh PCs, yeah and uh, i have not played valorant but i am terrible at first person shooters so i know i'm just gonna be terrible what about uh see so, i mean overwatch has been out for a while did you ever get like a good chance to to play it at all or well i i played on twitch with a big uh sombra player and it was at like a studio so there were computers set up okay. there and they had mm -hmm. the game so he kind of was teaching me how to play and i was terrible and then i also uh, streamed with another voice actor who works on detroit become human mm -hmm. ryan and we played together and we were both terrible but that was kind of the point you know yeah so and then at blizzard i played overwatch 2 uh, we played one mission. It was uh, uh, we were terrible. So that's basically my my thing. Like I'm just terrible at gaming, and I always fall off cliffs and I die really fast. But you know, I guess it's mm -hmm. sort of entertaining. You know. Wait, are you? So you said Overwatch two, right? Yeah. So are is Sombra gonna be in Overwatch two? Well, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I don't really know what <laughs> uh, what's happening with that. Like. Uh, they did the Blizzard right before the Blizzard, the BlizzCon right before um, the pandemic. Yes. They had a beta testing thingy on okay. Overwatch 2. So it was just a mission where Lucio's there with Genji and Tracer and a few others. So we got to play that. Mm -hmm. But like besides that, I don't really know what mm -hmm. Overwatch 2 is about or what the stories are or anything. Uh, but we did get to like do a little taste of what, what there is to come. So that was the extent. I don't know anything about when it comes out or you know what, what yeah. characters are involved you know so yeah i d obviously i'm not gonna try to dig something out of you i don't like you know well you can't <laughs> it just won't happen but yeah no we really don't know anything and uh that was th that was the extent of, of my overwatch too i was like okay i sucked and i died like yeah that, you know yeah i just didn't know that there was i didn't know there was a beta testing or anything so that's cool well, sorry, I say beta testing. That's, that might be the wrong word. They just, they literally, like, put out one mission you could play yeah. for anybody okay. who's at BlizzCon. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I guess that's not beta testing. That's, yeah. I, I don't know, you know. Yeah, yeah. I get you. I understand. <laughs> um, yeah, I think well, I'll do, we'll do one more voice line, and then I'll let you go. Um, no. uh, Breach, you're practically dancing. You ready to go... Lin what's that? Lindo? Lindo. Okay. Yeah. Breach! You're practically dancing. You ready to go, Lindo? I love it. I love it. I L Lindo means cutie. Like it means pretty, but I was like it's kinda like saying cutie. So again, that's my way of like kind of bringing them in and say, Hey, what's up, cutie? And they're like, <laughs> Oh, she called me cutie. What? You know? Um Yeah. I I appreciate you are you are extremely I appreciate you coming on you are extremely talented I mean I don't know uh you don't probably need to hear that from me but <laughs> I I do greatly appreciate it very much Thank you thank you for having me and and make sure to tag me and I'll be I, sure when it's out and all that good stuff and good luck with you know podcasting and content creation Thank you thank you uh, and for sure when you put it on YouTube, uh, tweet it at me and I could retweet that. So. Oh, wow. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, this has been the podcast. Uh, make sure you guys like and go follow Carolina on uh, and she's on the socials. Yeah, on the socials. Her links will be in the description. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys and later. I, I got to finish up with you saying, Owen, let's make some chaos. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much. You got it. I appreciate it again and again. I don't.